Hmm. Hello, greetings, everybody. My name is James. I am from the internet. And today, we're going to talk about how I was wrong. So two days ago, after Rudy Giuliani uh, represented Donald Trump in court and shit the bed in epic, epic fashion, I busted out a video and I discussed all of the the Trump legal challenges that are getting thrown out of courts in states across America. And I proudly proclaimed that was going to be the last time I had to talk about Donald Trump and his legal team and his shitty legal challenges because it was over. I even recall seeing people in the comment section writing, oh no, that's not the last of it. You know it's going to come back. And I thought to myself, no, they're, they're done. They, they literally went... 0 for 24. They had to scrounge around in the couch cushions to get the $3 million to order the two county recount in Wisconsin. You know, he has no money. He has no lawyers. You know, he's got Rudy Giuliani who has no credibility. I was sure all the legal challenges were over and Trump was just finally going to hide off into the distance and go start some insane president in exile show on OANN for the next four years. But oh, how wrong I was. With no further ado, I give you the man, the myth, the legend, Rudy Giuliani. Good afternoon. This is not a singular voter fraud in one state. This pattern repeats itself in a number of states. Almost exactly the same pattern. When it's being, when it's being counted, almost invariably in the United States, up until the mass cheating that went on in this election, Buckle up. A Republican and a Democrat inspector, as well as others, if there are other parties, is allowed to watch the unsealing of this ballot. That could have been Mickey Mouse. That could have been a dead person. That could have been not filled out properly. That could have been the same person 30 times. That could have been, and all these things have happened, by the way. So, for example, the recount being done in Georgia will tell us nothing because these fraudulent ballots. <laughs> We'll just be counted again. Did you all watch My Cousin Vinny? Did, you know the movie? My, it's one of my favorite uh, war movies because he comes from Brooklyn. Now, before we continue watching this, I just want to point out that, yes, in fact, Rudy Giuliani, the lead legal counsel for the sitting 45th president of the United States of America on national TV, is about to quote, my cousin Vinny, as part of the overall legal defense strategy to keep Trump in the White House. And uh, when the, the nice lady who said she saw, and then he, uh, he, he says to her, how many fingers do I, how many fingers do I got up? And she says, uh, three. Well, she was too far away to see it was only two. These people were further away than my cousin Vinny. I can't give you all these affidavits because if I do, these people will be harassed. They'll be threatened. They may lose their job. We have a hundred more of these. I can't show them to you because those people don't want to be harassed. They don't want to be have their lives torn apart by the goons on the other side. I think the logical conclusion is this is a common plan, a common scheme it comes right directly from the Democrat Party, and it comes from the candidate. So up next, we got Sidney Powell, who's uh, Trump's campaign lawyer. And if you thought Rudy went full crazy pants, wait till you see what Sidney does. Woo! We're really dealing with here and uncovering more by the day is the massive influence of communist money through Venezuela, Cuba, and likely China in the interference with our elections here in the United States. Oh my God, it's Russia and China and the communists. That's why Donald Trump lost. Real quick, while she's talking, take a look at Rudy and see how long it takes him to figure out how to open a bottle of water, okay? This should keep you entertained for a wee bit. The Dominion voting systems, the Smartmatic technology software, and the software that goes in other computerized voting systems here as well, not just Dominion, were created in Venezuela 
at the direction of Hugo Chavez. Oh my God, the ghost of Hugo Chavez has come back to steal our elections. That's right. Somebody went down to Venezuela with a shovel, dug down seven feet, pulled Hugo Chavez's dead bloated corpse out of the ground, reanimated it, and then it came to America to steal the election from Donald Trump on behalf of communists, China, Russia, and Joe Biden. You got all that, right? I just wanna make sure you're taking notes. Run an algorithm that probably ran all over the country to take a certain percentage of votes from President Trump and flip them to President Biden, which we might never have uncovered had the votes for President Trump not been so overwhelming in so many of these states. Donald Trump is so popular that he broke Hugo Chavez's voter cheating algorithm. That's, that's the legal defense by Trump's campaign lawyer right here on national TV. Up next, Jenna Ellis, Trump's campaign manager. Apparently somebody had to take over for Brad Parscale after he did too much cocaine and started waving a gun around at his wife and the police had to come and take him away. This is who got the job, Jenna Ellis. Also, if you're in the mood for some fun after this video, and I can't imagine you'd have any more room for fun after this one, but if you do, you should go Google Jenna Ellis Trump quote 2016 when Jenna Ellis on tape talked about what a piece of trash Donald Trump is, but here she is four years later trying to keep the trash in the White House. An opening statement. This is something where we have told you what the evidence will show and we have given you a brief description. That happens in a courtroom all the time where that's not the fact finding process that is just an overview. I know this is a lot of information that we've given you, uh, probably because we're frustrated with what we keep reading and hearing in the censored press, which is that we have no evidence, we have no specifics, we have no backup of what we're saying, and you largely ignore the affidavits that are filed. You're wondering right now, is that some kind of black fluid rolling down the side of Rudy Giuliani's face? It is. You're, you're not seeing things. It's, that's really happening. <clears throat> Whether you agree or disagree with an affidavit, it's evidence. Whether you agree or disagree with an affidavit, it's evidence. Okay, so that was like a quick three minute cut down <laughs> of the craziness of the Rudy Giuliani Trump legal team press conference, which included claims of having hundreds of affidavits, yet not showing any of them, claims of mass fraud, yet not proving any, insistence that the ghost of Hugo Chavez, China, Russia, Venezuela, and the overall Communist Party reprogrammed all the voting machines with an algorithm created by dead Hugo Chavez, placed into voting machines that were then brought into America, and then so many people voted for Donald Trump that the algorithm broke. All of this happened, and these three people on stage are apparently the only people who know about it. In case you were wondering, yes, the entire world noticed that this happened. Uh, quote, Another day, another Rudy Giuliani conference, and though this one wasn't sandwiched between a crematorium and an adult bookstore, it didn't disappoint in terms of complete and utter farcical madness. Backgrounded by three American flags and sweating harder than a turkey at Thanksgiving, Rudy took the stage to announce the next twist in the bizarre defense of Donald Trump. It was all a commie plot from Venezuela. Quote, we use a Venezuelan voting machine to count our votes, he said. If we let this happen, we're going to become Venezuelan. Hey! Wait till I tell you about the patents that Ivanka Trump has for voting machines manufactured in China. Apparently in Michigan, trucks pulled up full of trash cans filled with ballots in the dead of night. Of course, the polling station wasn't fully deserted because it was election night. Happily, it was staffed with witnesses who came forward to tell Team Trump it happened. Who are the witnesses? Well, they can't say, because if we were allowed to know who they are, then they would no doubt be subject to 
targeted hatred from Democrats. You'll just have to take Rudy's solid gold word for it and the word of one of the only lawyers who hasn't recently quit the Trump team. But those other lawyers only quit because they were being harassed. And that's the media's fault. <laughs> now, after Giuliani finished speaking and he stepped back after the water debacle, well, he had a larger debacle. Seems that Rudy takes out his handkerchief. Oh, wait, wait, where? Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, let me look at it. Blows his nose. Keeps it open. Smiles and laughs. Then wipes his lips with it. Mmm. Oh, yeah, then he smears it all over his face. Mmm, that's good stuff. Yeah, dude, it's, it's just nature's chapstick. What? Don't judge. Ah, all of this happened. I can't make this up. This all happened. One crazy cuckoo shit pants thing after another. I was glued to my TV yesterday. I couldn't stop. I was just like, this, this is it. This is the Christmas miracle. Like I already told my wife, she doesn't have to get me anything for Christmas because this this is going to be the greatest gift of the world. And I get to watch it every fucking day for the rest of my life. I told the people at work, I'm going to have to stop making these videos because there is no way I could ever come up with jokes or satire funnier than the shit that just happened. Rudy Giuliani made me redundant. He has made satire, comedy, and politics so fucking ludicrous that I'm now superfluous. I am an utterly pointless human being. Thanks, Rudy Giuliani. Holy crap. So now that we've had some fun with Rudy, I want to just fact check everything he said real quick. Show you that in between all the hilarity, there were also lies. Certification in Wayne County. Giuliani said the Trump campaign withdrew one case in Michigan because its goal was to get the Wayne County board to decertify, and they did. This is false the county's results were certified on Tuesday night. Overvotes in Michigan, quote Giuliani, one of the reasons why Republicans did not certify in Wayne County, Michigan was because the overvote was so high, Giuliani claimed. He added, what I'm describing to you is a massive fraud. This also was a lie. What Giuliani called overvote is often referred to as imbalance, where the number of ballots tabulated does not equal the number of people signed in to vote at a specific polling location. Past elections in Michigan with larger imbalances have been certified without issue, including in 2016 when the vote was certified for Donald Trump with larger imbalances than this year. Quote, they certified the vote in 2016 with 80% of Detroit precincts out of balance, and yet today only 42% were out of balance, and yet it didn't get certified. So clearly there's no valid point here. Michigan Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson said. Benson told CNN, quote, it is quite common for precincts to be out of balance, but it doesn't indicate malfeasance, adding it's more of a bookkeeping and clerical issue. Poll watchers. Giuliani claimed that more than 600,000 ballots in Pennsylvania, quote, weren't inspected, which renders them ballots that are null and void. This is also false. A Pennsylvania Supreme Court justice decided that the Philadelphia County Board of Elections complied with the law in how it allowed observers access to the canvassing process. Last piece of bullshit. Giuliani falsely claimed that mail-in ballots are, quote, prone to fraud. Also bullshit. I don't know what to tell you. The bullshit meter is spoken. Election experts have told CNN time and time again that mail-in ballots are safe form of voting and not subject to widespread fraud. Of course, Donald Trump, Melania Trump, uh, RNC chair Rona McDaniel, and every single person on Trump's cabinet in 2016, they all voted by mail. Uh, 900,000 U.S. soldiers all voted by mail. Right, but somehow the mail-in votes in a couple of states where the black people live were all filled with fraud. That's right. Philadelphia, Detroit, Atlanta. It's the black people. They're cheating. 
even the districts in Wisconsin that Donald Trump has paid to have recounted are where the black people live. That's it, because even on his way out the door, Donald Trump's going to be racist as fuck and blow that dog whistle. Woo woo! Now, after all that madness, Rudy went home and made the mistake of looking at the internet, and this is what he found. The internet savaged Rudy for leaking on TV while he was lying. And it wasn't one or two instances, I assure you. The entire internet, every dark corner of it, any place you can think of, it doesn't matter. Vanity Fair, Cosmopolitan, TMZ, your grandmother's bridge club, everybody just started mauling Rudy ruthlessly. I mean, it was bad. I've savaged some people on the internet before, but even I was like looking around yesterday and I was like, oh, it's just, it's so savage. So Rudy did what any other 70 year old dude who just got savaged by the internet did. He kicked back, he had a few drinks and he tried to forget. But unfortunately, Sean Hannity called him and asked him to come on TV to talk about what happened. And you know Rudy, Rudy can't say no to a camera and a microphone. So, three sheets to the wind, Rudy popped back up on TV a few hours later, and here's what he had to say. Okay, well, Sh Sean, it was a national conspiracy. It wasn't just three states, it was ten states. It's impossible that in Pittsburgh and in Philadelphia and in Detroit and in Milwaukee and in Phoenix, the Democratic leaders woke up on November 3rd and said, we're going to shut all the Republicans out. We're going to put them in shoots. We're not going to let them see absentee ballots. I like scotch, scotchy, scotch, scotch, scotch in my belly. <laughs> you know, Hannity's producer was like, yo, Rudy just came in and uh, you can smell the alcohol on him. And Hannity's like, fuck it, put him on. <laughs> When for a hundred years we all look at absentee ballots. <laughs> this had to come from someplace in the Biden campaign as an instruction to all of them. Because in 10 jurisdictions, and they picked crooked Democratic cities to do it in where they could get away with it, they stole probably about 2 million votes. Yeah, all those crooked Democratic cities where all those black people live. <laughs> So to everybody who came by and watched my Rudy video the other day after Pennsylvania, when I loudly proclaimed that that was the end of all Trump legal challenges because it was so embarrassing and he got smacked around so badly that there's no way he'd show his face ever again. To all of you who told me I was wrong, I acknowledge my mistake. You were indeed correct. That's it, everybody. Keep your eye on the prize. My name is James. I'm out. Peace.